Hello everyone, this is as always Marcin and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Healing Brush Tool to be able to use it in the right way and to retouch images non-destructively. Before we start, I want to invite you to my portfolio website so you can see exactly what I'm doing in my professional life and if you are interested in more retouching courses, the courses that are more professional, visit my educational page and learn in the best possible quality. If you don't want to pay for the courses straight away, I recommend you to start from this portrait retouching essential course. Of course, all of the useful links are in the description and now let's go back to Photoshop. Healing Brush Tool is probably most popular retouching tool existing in Photoshop. You can easily find it on left hand side in Photoshop or you can press J on your keyboard to locate this. In order to be successful in using this tool, we need to understand how it works. This is why I prepared this special project that will help us to understand exactly how healing brush work. Every time I work with healing brush, I want to work in non-destructive way. And to do this, I always need to work on an empty layer. So I'm creating an empty layer when I'm planning to use this and we can rename this into a retouch, cleanup or anything we want. I'm going to rename this into the cleanup. And in order to work on this empty layer, we need to make sure that the sample on the top here is set at current below. If it's at the current layer, we won't be able to affect anything below. And as we don't have anything on the empty layer, we will not be affecting anything. If we have all layers selected later on, if we apply some color on the top and go back to working on this empty layer, we will be affecting also what's above us. So this is not my best way of working. That's why I always choose current below. And why it's impossible to work non-destructive way on the actual layer? Because on the empty layer, we can easily remove the things. And if we do a lot of mistake, we can simply remove this layer and start over again. That's why it's the best way of working with it. So I created this weirdly looking project. It's not most beautiful project, but it will help us to understand how it works. So Healing Brush Tool allow you to copy the texture of the project or texture of the image and paste it in some other area but the color in the other area will be adjusted from the color surrounding the object you try to cover. So look at this. We have the flat texture on the top here. We have quite diverse texture on the bottom and we have some dots. So let's say you try to remove the dots on the flat texture. What you would do, you would press Alt or Option and take the sample from the flat area you want to work on and then cover maybe the dark spot like this. So what is happening now? I duplicated the texture from here, which is exactly the same and the color was adjusted to the surrounding area. What's also interesting, if we take the sample from this side where we have the white color and go to the other side and try to cover this area, as you can see, it will also work. The reason for that is because despite the differences in color, the texture here and here is exactly the same. So we have flat texture around. That's why it works. So I can sample here, move here, and as you can see, cover this spots because the color is adjusted to the surrounding area here. When it comes to the working on the edge, it might be a little bit difficult because edge creates a texture here. So in order to do it successfully, we need to be very clear with how we take the sample. So I can take it exactly on the edge and then I have to match it very closely in order 
to place it correctly. But of course, it is possible to do it. Once we place it correctly, we will be able to do it. As you can see, I'm struggling quite a lot. My hand is cannot really stay still. And now I think I got it and was able to do it. The difficulty is when we will be working close to the edge. So for example, if I take the sample here and try to get closer to the edge, as you can see, it's not so ideal. Why? Because it's get confused where from the color need to be taken. As we get too close from the edge, it recognizes this orange-like color on the right side and take the sample from there as well. So this tool will not work best close to the edges and it will not work best when it comes to very diverse texture. So on the bottom, I have this diverse texture. So to show you an example, I'm going to press J now and take the sample from this flat texture here and I will try to apply it here. So as you know, we copy the texture and then we try to apply the color. So as you can see, we are able to copy the texture from the sampled area we took and we get in the same texture. The problem is it tried to adjust the color in the surrounding area and as we have this white and black color, it tried to match it in some universal color and we get this weird shade of gray here. Also, if I try to take the sample from the textured area and move it here, as you can see, I'm copying the texture, but the color is a little bit washed out. And if I go to the other side, take the sample from here and apply it here, as you can see, this texture being colored to the color that is surrounding this area. Similar to this tool will be spot healing brush tool. When it comes to very simple tasks, as you can see, you can do everything without taking sample of the previous texture, though it will get confused in the areas that are a little bit more complicated, like this texture here. So you can see the result is not the same. So now let's move to the image. I'm going to create a new empty layer and rename this into cleanup. And starting with the spot healing brush tool, when it comes to all of the simple areas, if we have just few spots on the face, that would be the tool to use. I prefer to use just healing brush tool because it gives me a little bit more comfort. So when it comes to the skin, healing brush tool is the perfect tool to remove all of the imperfections existing on the skin. The difficulties might start when you get close to the edge. So if you're trying to retouch somewhere close to the hair, as you can see, it can pick up the color sample and not give you the best results. Also, if you clean up the crosshair, for example, like here, it is picking up some of the other texture and applying it here. This is why in order to retouch the areas with a lot of texture, you might need to use some other tools like clone stamp and of course, we will talk about clone stamp in the future. For now, if you need to clean up the skin, if you need to remove the simple objects from your graphic project, as you can see, using healing brush tool will be absolutely perfect. So this is the tutorial. Remember to check the links in the description and subscribe to this channel because there is much more videos coming. If you like this video, hit the like button because it does help this video to get discovered. And if you think this video is good, maybe it's good for others to see it as well. Thank you for watching and see you next time.